the wonderful change of your Balkan. Now, after the arrival of the tornado, you thought he was going to be noisy, didn't you? Of course, he's not going there. It looks like he's flying away, he's down there, he But she can pick her up on us when she needs to. She just goes gently idling by. That's why we're seeing those trails of smoke uh, of unburnt fuel at the back. She's flown today. Here she comes back in front of us, and there you get that amazing ship designed by Roy Patton. And, and the bomb doors are opening as she goes by. See the size of that bomb bay that carried those 21 1,000-pound bombs. That's about 10 tons of bombs. And the airplane carried them like a stealth airplane, but long before stealth was invented. There, the bomb bay doors are closing as she passes in front of us. And probably, I thought, we're never going to see another Vulcan fly again. So a splendid man from David Walton bought this aeroplane and a whole lot of spares, and another splendid man from Dr. Walton Fleming decided that he was going to form what became the Vulcan from the Star Trust. In pounds, that is where we are today. That's how much it's cost. Money. <laughs> by air glide, action aviation. So without them, and thanks very much folks, she wouldn't be here today. Now at this stage in the proceedings, Martin should be conducting a spiral climb, but uh, evidently he's not able to do that because of the low cloud phase.